I'm Michael Liss. I'm a doctor who uh, is a urologic oncologist who specializes in prostate cancer. The risk factors for prostate cancer include age, just as we get older you can have an increased risk of prostate cancer, family history of prostate or breast cancer, uh, you can have a genetic mutation or it would put you at risk for prostate cancer to include BRCA or the BRCA genes which are similar to breast cancer. Um, others as the African American race can have an increased risk of prostate cancer as well. The worrisome thing about prostate cancer is that there's no signs or symptoms until they're very late. So we rely on prostate cancer screening to catch it early. The screening methods for prostate cancer typically rely on the PSA test or the prostate specific antigen and sometimes an examination of the prostate in the clinic. The PSA test is a protein that's in the blood. It's secreted by the prostate. So every man that has a prostate, uh, they'll have a PSA test. So it just depends on how high that level is. So that's what we're looking for. Age is a really important risk factor for prostate cancer. So uh, as we, men get older, there's been multiple studies that have shown that that increase rises for each decade you get older. So it's really important to enter that screening early and watch it over time. The age that men should consider getting screened for prostate cancer would be age 55 to 69. But if you have a risk factor for prostate cancer, then starting around age 40 would be the ideal time. Early detection of prostate cancer really changes the entire scope of what options you have available to you. So if you're found early, then there's radiation and surgery or even monitoring uh, programs that can happen for, for men with early stage prostate cancer. And as we get later, uh, those options uh, reduce. The options for prostate cancer are pretty vast depending on when you get uh, diagnosed with prostate cancer. So in the early stages, uh, surgery, radiation therapy, focal therapy or a monitoring program, if it's low grade, would be optimal. Uh, if you're advanced when you get diagnosed, then there's hormonal therapy and we can still have some of these other options that we talked about, radiation or surgery, in very select cases. The exciting thing about prostate cancer treatment is that there's a lot of new things coming out. Everything from imaging to various treatment options. So staying up to date is really important on that. Patients should consider the Mace Cancer Center UT Health for their prostate cancer care because we have a team approach that includes research and multidisciplinary uh, specialties that would be involved in their care. I think another aspect when people are considering their care for prostate cancer is a second opinion and uh, having someone uh, relook at their uh, chart and their diagnoses and maybe offer a different perspective would be something that we would be able to offer here at Mace Cancer Center.